Why do we care where our ancestors came from? Does it even matter? If you have Nordic heritage, it's more likely your ancestors were slaves on a Viking ship than actual Vikings, so why do we care? This place, Two Guns, gets many visitors annually, few who actually know the long and bloody history of this place. Like all places in America, there's the history and the white history. Before pilgrims had landed at Plymouth Rock, this land had inhabitants, stewards of the earth, roads, irrigation, communities, and war. Underground in this cave in Canyon Diablo, 42 Apache men, women, children, and their horses died of smoke inhalation at the hands of a Navajo tribe who was seeking retribution for three members of their tribe who had been killed. It's a place where many visit, but few take the time to feel the full weight of the history behind it. During the 20th century, Route 66 was built and the remains of the fallen Apache tribe members were removed for display and to sell to tourists. A zoo was set up to house mountain lions, gila monsters, and javelinas, all in small wire enclosures. Fake ruins were built to attract passing tourists, and it all worked. Eventually, Route 66 was rerouted, and by the 1950s, this place was abandoned. In the 60s, Two Guns was revitalized before a fire in 1970 destroyed almost everything. It's never been inhabited since. But why do we care? Why do I feel a sense of connection when I come here, but also a sense of guilt? I didn't do anything but visit. But I'm white. I'm native too, enough to be considered a tribe member if I applied, but I've never lived on a reservation or spoken a native tongue. My mom might have, but she's more of an alcoholic now than a mother, and we don't talk. I still love her, but I don't know that side of my ancestry, and I never have. So why do I care now? Why do I relate more to a side of myself that I'm just discovering? Is it because I appreciate how indigenous people lived in harmony with the earth? Or is it because I despise the way people visit today without the knowledge of the exploitation of the original people of this land? But native tribes did things I find despicable too. Murder, rape, theft, these aren't things that are race exclusive. So why does it matter that one grandparent I've never met is from the Tlingit tribe in Alaska and another is from Ireland? It doesn't. Everything is one. We aren't defined by those who came before us, but we can and should learn from their mistakes. We should grow, honoring those who came before and those who will come after, while recognizing that we are our own people. Identity is weird, and people are more than the sum of their parts. After all, we're all five-fingered beings, right?